Absolutely not, Sean. We don't do that over here. I respect that, bro. Okay. I think Sneeko does have a humiliation fetish. I do. It's not even a joke at this point. Like, he, he likes it. He likes it. He has to like it. It's Friday, and we're keeping the vibes immaculate, and I'm going to start by watching this. Let me tell you something, okay? This is Sean Strickland. So I don't really know too much about Sean Strickland beyond the fact that I know he's a he is a UFC fighter, okay? And controversial opinion, two things I'm going to say here. This is not cool at all. I think it's crazy that he beat the sh out of a random skinny dude like Sneeko. Like, I'm not... This is a mid-off, okay, for sure. It's a mid-off for sure, but it's like, what are you doing? Sean Strickland was just a middleweight champion to beat the... Israel Adesanya, dude's a menace. I just don't understand it though. He's like, are you all right? Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Why are you beating the f out of a civilian dog? It's so dumb. It doesn't matter that Sneeko deserves to get his ass beat. I, I think it's like, there's an air of confidence in my opinion that is supposed to come from like being a guy who can kill someone with their hands, right? Like, you know better. You can kill people with your f hands with ease much easier than the average person can so if you have that kind of power you should also have a little bit of responsibility like i don't really understand why calling non-fighters athletes civilians is very funny hey, yeah that's what i mean this is what they call a tune-up match he recently lost his belt and he has to get his confidence by beating up some dork uh as a member of the mma community sean is absolutely bananas i mean there's a lot of bananas mma guys out there so i feel like he's even worse but i've even had my what, what? I've even had my in real life friends turn into dumb because of Sneeko, so I don't care. Bro, he's literally opening up. First of all, he's connecting with a head it's wild that he can't even knock him out okay it doesn't matter this nigga consented bro be f normal what the hell is this shit couple things one kind of crazy that he's just wailing on him like at first it's like even if you're like lightly sparring this is already too aggressive okay this is already too aggressive he's like f he's playing with him come on dude that's not playing with him he stops playing here okay this is where he stops playing with him if you think that the previous part is like him playing with him You think that's playing, dude? You think those last couple of hits are playing? Are you crazy? You care, lol? I mean, I, I, I do a little bit. I think it's, like, odd. It's already odd that he's, like, literally taking shots directly to Sneeko's head. And for people that go, oh, dude, Sneeko, you should have worn a headgear or head protection. It doesn't matter. You can still get CTE. If you got a killer in the, in the octagon and he slams the shit out of you uh even with that headgear on your brain is still gonna shake i think the only reason why sneeko didn't get knocked out here is because he has no brain to shake in his brain he can't get concussed because there's no brain that shakes inside of the skull but still i i i don't know i i think it's like i, I am i too am i a bitch is that what it is do i feel like I, I always have this opinion that if you have more power than the other person like it's on you to be a responsible individual, right? Like if if you are a f title haver, okay, a UFC fighter with a f belt, that's insane that you're just like opening up on like a dude that is like as skinny as Drake's penis, okay? I mean, look at him. He's flailing in the same way as Drake's penis was in the seven uh, six seven, dude. He's like, he's in the PJ going left and right, flailing like wacky inflatable arm man. I mean, not to get all Judd Apatow here and be like, oh my God, there was so much anger behind those arms. He could have killed him, but like he literally could. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not like the Will Smith slapping Chris Rock situation. Like I, I'm more, I think I'm more understanding about like violent ends that occur in the real world and like weak moments that we have than the average person. This is not the average person at all. I mean, the fact that he's still standing is pretty impressive too. Not many people in my opinion can say that they could just eat it for like 30 seconds straight from a middleweight champion with a belt and just like not die now i don't know what the damage is i don't know what the damage is overall 
but I do think that this is a ridiculous thing to do. This is already a no-no, even if you're sparring on the same experience level, and this guy has, yeah, if he, I'll tell you this much, okay? If Sean was sparring at his gym with an evenly matched sparring partner, and he behaved like this, they would probably pull him off as well. Like he is opening up way too much. And I'm not like, I'm not like a, like a massive fight guy at all. But I do feel like this is, this is kind of crazy. How is it different than the Nazi kid who got his shit pushed in? That kid got a shit pushed in with BJJ brother, which, you know, you can still get, you can still run into issues, but that was an infinitely that was an in infinitely better way to handle it. They grappled. No, it was definitely not BJJ. Wasn't it? Well, didn't they grapple? Am I wrong? Yeah, they were grappling and shit. That's like a way more manageable way. It's like Nico went into the ring knowing he could get hurt. He's not a child. Yeah, guys, I understand that part. Okay. I can't believe I'm saying this. All I'm simply stating is he 100% should have like lowered the intensity. Okay. You're, pr you're crazy in my opinion. Do you understand what I mean here? Like, I think it's different when you're striking. Okay. I feel like it's very different when you're striking. Why? What do you mean? Because you can like, if you grapple someone, you can do it in a way where you can like restrict their movement, make them uncomfortable. They can tap out. This is like in grapple terms, this would literally be like if you put a, if you put someone in an arm bar until they like choked out until they literally uh, no longer had oxygen going into their brain. Okay. And they were trying to tap out and you just didn't care. Was this supposed to be a uh, friendly match or you don't choke someone in an arm bar. Sorry. I, whatever it's called. Um, not an arm bar, uh, whatever, a, a rear, uh, a rear naked chokehold or whatever the fuck is called. Regardless, you know, I'm not like a big fight guy. I'm just saying arm bar is an arm lock. Yeah. Breaking their arm. It, it is obvious though that one, many people somehow forget with great power comes great responsibility. Okay. Did you know MMA is safer than boxing CTE wise, by the way, just curious. Seems like a lot of people don't know. Yeah, probably because there's boxing is you're just eating it to the face and to the body with very severe punches. Not everyone's a striker in MMA. You still need the strike, but I feel like that would probably be the reason, right? That's why I'm literally saying that what he's doing here is crazy. It's like fucked up. Jesus. <laughs> damn i mean it is it is kind of respectable that he did not fall that i will say that i dude what is happening all the kick streamers are like taking w's in their l's right now like they're taking l's but in a way that kind of makes it turn into a w bro took more shots to the back than his girl yeah, I, I do also think boxing is worse because of standing eight counts and restarting after someone's been knocked down instead of letting the fight finish. Yeah, I just, I do think that it's like odd that I found myself in a position where I'm like kind of defending Sneeko, I guess. But if he's a fighter for a living, it just shows that he's unprofessional. He should have held back 100%, not a great look for him. He's not just a fighter for a living. As MMA heads in the chat correctly explained, isn't he? I mean, he's a title holder. Like, it's crazy. And apparently a former Nazi, too. Sean Strickland is uh, is a middleweight division UFC title holder. He's a former UFC middleweight champion. And he's a professional competitor since 2008. I, I can't tell if people are making a joke about me saying former title holder or, or I mean, a former UFC middleweight champion or because he said he's a former Nazi. <laughs> yeah, he's the... Wait, no, he lost the title recently. Bro was busy blowing bubbles on Trump's dick. Yeah, he saw an opt to whoop the ass of someone that deserves it and took it. I don't know. I think, like, I think there are way better ways of, like, this all start because he was calling some other MMA guy the R word who is autistic. All I'm saying is, if you have, look, like, learning how to fight is actually really good for developing confidence is what a lot of people say. The other part of that problem is that when you get hit in the head too many times, you still become an animal, Okay. So then you lose out on the all the supposed confidence that you're uh, supposed to get from like physical training and like being confident in your own body and your own skin. So that's why you see a lot of these like go in either direction. Either they're like kind, loving individuals, or they just uh, or become murderous monsters with the absolute worst politics you've ever seen. And and it's like it feels as though like if you are a f title holder. Okay, if you're a, a, a former middleweight champion, 
you should definitely be you should definitely be infinitely more um confident in your abilities and you can still like smack someone down a little bit but not in a way that you're like looking like you're trying to kill him okay if you're if you're that if you've been fighting professionally since 2008 you know the difference between like you know lightly sparring you know maybe medium sparring and also heavy sparring john said he hates influencers that's why still dude it's crazy yes great example like the sumo wrestlers in japan like look at how uh look at how that former sumo wrestler like almost champion guy look at look at the way he was fighting uh me in japan like they were dope and they definitely could have probably picked me up and like flipped me around like a goddamn pizza okay and he didn't do that they they didn't do that at all because it was like it, it because they're professional <laughs> and confident in their abilities and not being like weird and lame this is how it was started Wife, right? Absolutely not, Sean. It's so odd because, like, aren't they all on board with the same politics too? Like, that's what I—that's what I also don't understand. Aren't they in line? Like, don't they believe the same shit? I'm a good baseball player. I'm not gonna throw my heart into a noob novice. Yeah, like, imagine throwing heaters at a child who's only played softball up to this moment. You know what I mean? Just a 95 mile slammer that you're just laying into. Nico was a child, no dummy, but his expertise in the field of combat would be akin, especially in comparison to a former middleweight champion. It would be like if, it would be like if a professional baseball player was throwing absolute heaters at a child, okay? Paris from Mage, I'm a retired, I fight me IRL, oiled up. I'm a retired NFL linebacker, I can punk you, bud. There are actually retired NFL players, what's his name, that are Hassan Abihead, so I don't know if this dude is memeing or not. There is actually, um, uh, what do you call it? What's his face? Come on, the guy uh, who is a, he's a Heisman winner too, I think, right? Or he's an NFL Super Bowl winner, not a Heisman winner. Who's a Heis, uh, who's a Hassan, yeah, um, uh, not a Heisman winner. Uh, Thomas Crabtree, big time Hassan Abihead. No, not Arian Foster, but Arian Foster also is like sometimes, you know, Aaron Hernandez. No way. Crabtree's Hassan Abihead. Yeah. He's like, I forget what his name is in the chat. Uh, famous, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Hassan Abihead. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is a Joe Rogan head. We know that already. A skilled fighter doesn't need to hurt someone to embarrass them. He honestly could have just ruined Sneeko's day and still made whatever his point was with leg kicks and body shots and not done permanent damage. This conversation is insane. Thank you, please. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm talking. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills because there's like hella people. Uh, oh yeah, here you, <laughs> bro. Look at this. <laughs> I'm gambling channel points on this shit on a Friday night. Watching never Kevers, former Green Bay Packers Super Bowl uh, champion. This combo is insane because we're talking about insane people. I know, but like doing decent analysis, in my opinion, in a situation like this requires you to like drop the insanity for a brief moment and have like and develop a better understanding for every side, regardless of. Uh, whether or not it's like two weird bigoted losers laying into one another or getting laid in on because we're talking about this not from the perspective of like whose politics is worse because i don't know whose politics is worse really they're both pretty awful it's just that like one is infinitely more skilled in the field of of actual professional fighting and the other isn't all jokes aside though all jokes aside though i think sneeko does have a humiliation fetish i do it's not even a joke at this point. Like he, he likes it. He likes it. He has to like it. Absolutely not, Sean. We don't do that over here. I respect here. that, bro. Okay. Where were you a fucking spar, bro? I heard we're gonna set that shit up and get it. Out. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I think that'd be fun. Wait, it wasn't even like an aggro situation. That's nuts he literally that was supposed to be a friendly spar that's the energy he brought to a friendly spar dude that shit sucks dude get the f out of here <laughs> bro he's such a dick that's so lame S straight up that's lame as f how long are you down i'll be in town for a couple more days but boxing though mma is a little i don't know if that's gonna be you're at a boxing fight no i haven't no i haven't we are wrestling tomorrow at 11. wrestling no, I'll box, but I'll rest. I'll give you a couple rounds. Okay, I'm supposed to train with Jake Shields tomorrow, so if you want to come at the same time. What, what Jake Shields? Oh go my the... god, every part of this is awful. Skinhead hits black guy for free. Yeah, except, like, the black guy is a literal Nazi right now. Like, openly. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know who's in this, who's, who in this situation is worse. I don't know. Do you understand? Like, it's, it's literally Nazi on Nazi violence, okay? 
Nico is uh, uh, um, Blasian. The, the UFC arena. At 11? I think right after prayer, so like maybe 2 o'clock. But I can go early. Yeah, yeah let's not bring race into this mid-off. There's no... Race is not playing a role here, okay? I don't think this is a, a instance of... It's like they got friendly fire on, okay? Friendly fire was not off in this Nazi parade. Hey, I don't want that shit, dude, but I got you, bro. We'll be at 11. All right, I'll see you there. Bring shield, bro. He, uh, I invite him to come wrestle this city. Okay. <laughs> this is Azov. Yeah, this is Azov versus Wagner type beat is true. Exactly. It's just, they're just going at it, and you're in the sidelines looking at it going, what the happening here sean strickland has said in an interview it would be amazing to kill an opponent in the octagon you are right sean probably hates nico more because he's a streamer versus his race yeah <sighs> i don't know it's also like weird and kind of i don't know maybe like i said maybe i'm being a pussy but it's like i feel like it's total weak bitch shit to just like do this to a person that you very clearly everyone knows can do this to a, like you everyone knows you can do that to a person you don't have to prove anything that's why it's like really funny when losers online are like fight this person and fight that person it's like bitch i'm not a fighter i'm a lover okay even though the person that they're putting up it doesn't matter like some of those people i could beat up i don't think andrew tate is one of those people i think andrew tate could probably beat me up i mean he is a literal uh kickboxer he has fought professionally right and I've brought that up. I've like openly mentioned that many times and people go, oh, he admitted it, dude. It's like, yeah, because I'm a reasonable human. It's so dumb. You would crack mother. Are you kidding me? I mean, look, I've been in a lot of fights in my youth. Okay. I don't like it. I am not a fan of fights and, and I didn't win all the time either. You know, I've won plenty of fights and I've lost a decent amount of fights as well. It's not my, um, it's not my favorite thing, but this is not like a real, uh, I'm not talking about like a real fight. I'm talking brawls. I am not. I've never trained, I've never fight trained, and I've never actually, um, you know, I've never actually been in like a professional fighting setting or even amateur fighting at all. Punching someone in the head doesn't actually feel good. It just feels better than being punched. Yeah, I would agree with that. You got your ass kicked. I've literally, I've gotten pummeled on for sure. Dude, I got, I got, I got sucker punched and knocked out before. I've also beat a lot of ass too, but I, I mean, this is not like, I don't think this comes from a place of, I don't think people understand. This doesn't come from a place of of being like uh like I don't have a I don't have any fear of admitting that. It's dumb as fuck. It is the stupidest shit I've ever done. What is this high school ass argument? Yeah, I'm guys, I'm a 32-year-old man. Like I don't you're acting like the guy that got upset at Larry David, me? <laughs> Wait. You think you think me saying Sean Strickland is like being insecure and opening up that hard on a random streamer is is actually the same is it oh you're joking okay i thought you were gonna be like dude you're being like um you're over here talking like you're, you're over here talking like you're uh <laughs> like i'm judd apatow 